Hey there everyone, uh, this is Jake here from the Bitwarden integration team. Uh, welcome to Bitwarden Brilliance. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm joined here by my colleagues Jordan and Tony who are going to be hanging out in the chat. So if you have any questions as we go through the session, feel free to jump in there and let us know. We'll be happy to get those addressed. Uh, Bitwarden Brilliance is where our team does deep dives on technical topics related to Bitwarden. And today we're going to be looking at uh, the CLI installation and automated encrypted backups. So a quick summary of our agenda for today. Uh, we're going to do a brief overview of Bitwarden for those who aren't familiar with it. Um, we'll be discussing the Bitwarden blog and what that's about, what useful information you can find there. Um, we'll be touching on our no November deprecation notice and we'll also be reviewing how to install the Bitwarden CLI um, on a Linux system. In addition to that, we're going to touch on how to create a automated script for backing up the uh, your vault contents. So with that, let's uh, go ahead and get started here. So Bitwarden is a uh, zero-knowledge password management solution that uses end-to-end -end encryption. Uh, it's built to be easy to use and transparent. We offer flexible deployment options um, for deploying in, uh, in a self-hosted environment or on our cloud-hosted SaaS service. Um, all of our clients are, and tools are built to be synchronized and shareable, um, so you can share secrets very easily with your colleagues, family, and friends. Um, as a company, Bitwarden is customer and community centric, and um, your secrets are available wherever you are. So a quick overview of the Bitwarden blog. Um, Obviously, you can find blog posts there. These contain helpful tips and tricks. We post a lot of news and updates there, information of all kinds. So be sure to check that out. Touching in really quickly on our November deprecation notice, um, we do have some information out there for self-hosted users. Make sure to update your server um, as soon as possible. After November 28th, Bitwarden client applications and extensions will only support self-hosted servers running version 1.46.0 and later. Uh, more information regarding the deprecation notice can be found on our help center. And so yeah, let's jump right into it. Encrypted backups. Um, why is this something that'd be useful to you? So um, as of the October 2022 20, release of Bitwarden, we are now providing a solution or option for exporting encrypted backups of your Bitwarden vault. And these can be protected by a password of your choice rather than your um, encryption and master password, or your, excuse me, master password and uh, username, the account uh, encryption key. So um, one thing you should do regularly is back up your vault. With a working backup, you can also import it back into Bitwarden and be functioning in minutes or seconds. So previously, before the October release, the encrypted export function created a file that was encrypted with the account's encryption key. That encryption key is derived from the account's username and password or master password, excuse me, and it's unique to that specific account. So now users have the additional option of using a password of their choosing for backup encryption. This gives you more flexibility when backing up your vault and provides the option to not tie that backup to the account's encryption key. So this can be done in the uh, web browser implementation, or uh, if you're using the GUI, it's pretty easy to go in, click file, export your vault. Uh, and simply walking through the prompts. However, if you want to do this from the command line, it's not nearly as easy. So we can craft a handy little bash script here to greatly simplify the process. So first we're going to go over installing the CLI application. Uh, the Bitwarden CLI is a pretty powerful tool. It's fully featured for accessing and managing your vault. Most of the features that you'd find available in the other client applications like the uh, desktop, the browser extensions, etc., are all going to be available from the client as well. So the command line version of Bitwarden can be installed on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, um, either using our native installers, Snap packages, NPM, or the chocolatey package manager for Windows. More information on the CLI can be found on our help center at this link right here. 
So today we're going to be going over the Linux installation, um, but specific instructions may depend on your distribution. Um, so today we're going to be leveraging a script from uh, one of our blog posts. I've linked that here. Um, it's written by one of our, um, our technical docs writers. Very useful. Um, we, it includes some scripts for an interactive backup as well as non-interactive backups if you want to schedule something via a cron job to do this regularly. Now keep in mind these scripts are optimized for Linux and Mac OS and this particular script also doesn't handle attachments currently um, but there are some other resources in our community that have several different use cases and can uh, handle encrypted back or encrypted backups of your attachments as well so definitely want to check out this um, article here in our community forums it's a user's guide to backing up your vault and that does include an option for backing up attachments as well so let's go ahead and get started we're going to jump right into this here hopefully everybody can see my terminal here okay so very quickly, um, we're going to wget the latest release of the Bitwarden CLI. That should pull it down pretty quickly here. We're going to unzip that, um, change the permissions on it to make it executable. And we're going to move that to user local bin so I can execute it wherever I need to. Oops, let's try that again here. All right, so now I should be able to call that. Great, we're working, awesome. You're also going to want to install JQ, which is a JSON uh, processor. got that installed and so let's go ahead and jump right into this using your uh, text editor of choice you can simply uh, create a new file we'll go ahead and get that going here I'm gonna label this as my interactive backup script and hopefully everyone's following along with the blog post that we provided there um, but basically, uh, you can just copy and paste that in there. And uh, what this script will do is it's going to ask you for your account, uh, email address, your pa master password, and then it will uh, output a useful little file uh, of your encrypted backup here. So let's go ahead and save that. Now I've got it there. Perfect. And you also want to give that script uh, executable permissions as well. All right, now you can see it's executable. And let's go ahead and just run it. So as I mentioned, it should ask you for your master password. I am already logged into my demo account here, as you can see. Let me go ahead and fetch that password really quickly. screen here all right oh that's fun and of course that didn't happen during my last uh, run of this here let me get rid of that there we go that's a little cleaner let's go look at my script and see what broke there jump over to our blog post that I just referenced there again and um, let's see if I can I may have miscopied this earlier I 
bear with me folks, sorry about that. Appreciate everyone bearing with me here. Just one moment. I did test this prior, but uh, maybe I had a little copy pasting issue here. All right, let's try that again. Password one more time here. Hmm. Yep. Still must be an issue with my copy paste somewhere along here. So just uh, give me a moment, please. Ah, yep, I think I found the issue, cool. All right, this should work this time. As you can see, that did run that time. I'll have to uh, change that password here in a moment. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, you can see it created the encrypted backup format here, or the encrypted uh, backup file. Again, keep in mind this doesn't contain attachments. Um, but from here, you have an encrypted export of your back of your vault. And uh, you can restore this at any time should there be issues. Um, oops, one moment here. And um, yeah, it's it's that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward, very easy to do. Um, you can also automate this script and create a non-interactive version, as I mentioned earlier, and um, script that via cron to run at a regular interval of your choosing. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at that one more time just so everyone can take a peek at that and make sure we have the right format here. Um, if anybody has any questions on the logic going on in here, I'd be happy to answer those in the chat as well. Yep, it looks like there are a few questions in the chat. And I appreciate everyone bearing with me here. This is my first, uh, first go at a Twitch stream, so... The nice thing about these is that they are encrypted using, you know, OpenSSL here, so um, you don't have to worry about storing them in a secure location because they are indeed encrypted. Um, you don't have to worry about those getting lost out there, and um, you can very quickly and easily restore them. So uh, get you back up and running in a few minutes, if not seconds, compared to having to, you know, manually import and export into the, the configuration. So. Thank you, Jordan and Tony, for answering those questions out there. And again, just to note, these scripts are optimized for Linux and Mac only. We are working on getting some uh, Windows scripts and examples for Windows released. But yeah, there you have it. You should have a nice encrypted JSON and file that you can import back into Bitwarden should the need arise. Um, and yes, with the... Let's see here. Again, you can use cron to uh, run this every night if you wish and save the backup file in the same location housing the backup script. But yeah, very, very handy. 
uh, method of backing up and encrypting your vault from the command line.